The Blueberry Bears by Eleanor Lapp and Pictures by Margot Apple. Bessie Allen loved to pick blueberries. Behind her cabin in the pine woods grew a big patch of blueberry bushes. Some years there would, there would be no blueberries because the blossoms froze. Some years it was too dry and the berries didn't grow. This year it was just right and the bushes hung with huge blueberries, almost as big as grapes, said Bessie. Bessie Allen picked and picked in the blueberry patch and her dog and cat helped her. She took the blueberries inside and made muffins. She put some berries in the freezer. She picked and picked and made pie and canned blueberry jam. She gave her cat blueberries and milk. She gave her dog blueberries and bones. She picked and picked and filled everything in her cabin with blueberries. Every pan was full. Every dish was full. When she opened her refrigerator, all she could see was blueberries. There are blueberries in the cupboard and under the stove and more blueberries behind the closet door. Still, Bessie Allen kept picking. After a while, the cat just drank the milk and left the blueberries in the bowl. The dog quietly took out his bone and left the blueberries in the dish. Bessie Allen had blueberries in her pancakes and blueberries in her fruit salad and blueberries on her ice cream. And now I wonder if I can really eat them all, she said. The bears that lived in the pine woods loved blueberries too. They'd been living on grasses and roots and they came to eat hungry for berries. There were cub bears and mother bears and some great big father bears. And when they came to the patch, no blueberries could be found. Bessie Allen had picked them all. The bears crawled up into the trees and made, a loud, made loud popping noises with their teeth. Pop, pop, pop. Bessie Allen stood in her cabin on the edge of the blueberry patch. What is that dreadful noise, she cried. She clutched her cat and bit her dog stay and opened the door. The smell of blueberries drifted out of her cabin and up to the bears, and they began to climb out of the trees. Bessie Allen heard the scraping and sliding and sniff-sniffing of all the bears. The sniff-sniffing was coming closer. She held onto her cat and bid her dog come and ran out of the door and down the road. The bears followed the smell of the blueberries through the door and into her cabin. Bear after bear shuffled in. There were bears in the refrigerator and bears on the, in, on the cupboard. There are bears in the closet and bears under the stove. And they were all eating blueberries with a smack, smack, and a chomp, chomp, and a slurp, and a lick. Bessie Allen hid behind a tree and covered her ears. I've never heard such a clamor from so many bears. Then the noise stopped. Bears streamed out of the cabin and through the blueberry bushes and into the pine woods. Bessie Allen picked up her cat and bit her dog heel, went back to her cabin. Carefully, she peeked in the door. She could not see a bear anywhere. She could not see a blueberry anywhere. The cat hissed at her bowl and the dog sniffed at his dish. Next time, said Bessie Allen, I shall leave some of the berries in the patch for the bears. She looked in her freezer. I have enough blueberries left to make all the things I need. She cuddled her cat and petted her dog. But not enough blueberries for you, my dears. The dog lay down and gave a sigh, and the cat purred. There's one big loud burp from the blueberry-filled bears in the pine woods. 